Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre's address to the 77th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York on September 23rd laid bare the consequences and challenges that St. Lucia and small island developing states in the CARICOM region continue to endure as a result of constant geopolitical instability and a glaring lack of adherence and commitment by developed countries to the principles and obligations outlined in the UN Charter. We have arrived at this coalition moment because we have failed to adhere to the arrangements we have negotiated multilaterally to solve the problems that, we have, that have confronted us, problems invariably of our own making. We have come to this watershed moment because small developing countries continue to suffer from inequitable world order in which the rich and powerful do not right the wrongs they commit against the weak. The message from St. Lucia's Prime Minister was pellucid. We find ourselves in a world stacked against us and frustrating our development at every turn. Sadly, Mr. President, a survey of the global political economy of the last four decades reads like a cascading series of crises and a frustrating tale of arrested development and dashed hopes for the people of the Caribbean. The undoubted call to action on the immediate threats to St. Lucia's development was reinforced during Honorable Pierre's address. We must act together to save our people and our planets. It is regrettable, therefore, that recent political differences between two of the biggest polluting countries have led to a halting of cooperation between them on climate issues. The future of our planet must never be held hostage to the politics of superpower rivalry. The Prime Minister rounded off his address to the UN General Assembly with appeals for more equitable access to climate financing for small island developing states. Honorable Pierre also lamented the economic and humanitarian agony caused by the ongoing conflict in Ukraine and has called for its immediate end. The plight of St. Lucia's hemispheric neighbors can be decisively alleviated by putting an end to economic sanctions against Cuba and Venezuela and addressing the deteriorating security situation in Haiti. This was Prime Minister Pierre's second address to the UN General Assembly since assuming office in July of 2021. Honorable Pierre's pathway to global stability, climate resilience, and a clean future free of geopolitical and wartime conflict hinges on the collective will of the 193 countries party to the UN Charter and the desire of world leaders to faithfully adopt and adhere to its founding principles. If we truly think of the people of this world, if we truly dedicate ourselves to serving them, then our words, our decisions, our, de our actions will deliver better health care, decent employment, and decent housing. As world leaders, let us practice servant leadership by faithfully adhering to and fulfilling the obligations of the Charter of the United Nations, to which we all agreed to abide when we became its members. Let us truly be nations united. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.